Leave It to Beaver. Starring Barbara Billingsley, Hugh Beaumont, Richard Deacon and Frank Bank, Ken Osmond, Tony Dow, and Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. No, it's not 1963, and we're not in Mayfield. We're in Westwood tonight with one of America's favorite television families, the cast of Leave it to Beaver. Why do you think it was so successful? Because we were so an average. Name. Because it was so <laughs> average? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I agree. Everybody can relate to each one of the characters in the show. I think all the shows were very well written. And the two writers between them had, what, 12 kids? Yeah. 11 or 12 kids. And so they really had a feel for, for children and what children would really say. And I think people can really believe the show. Hi, Beaver. Hey, where'd you find him? Oh, I didn't find him. He found me. When I came home from school, he was sitting on the porch waiting for me. Hey, look it. He's washing himself. Boy, if we washed ourselves like that, well, we get yelled at. Hey, what did Mom say when you brought him up here? Oh, she didn't say a word. Well, you sneaked him up, huh? Well, sure. <laughs> well, maybe she wouldn't have minded. Yeah. But I figured why take a chance. Leave it to Beaver was last produced in 1963. Over a seven-year period, 270 shows were made. With syndication, Beaver has been on television continuously since 1957. Would you like to break the mold? And, and do what? I'm a rock and roll DJ. Is that what you expect <laughs> Beaver to do? No, not exactly. <laughs> but, but in another television series, in a movie. Well, I, I would. As I say, I, I consider myself an actor, so I think that any part anyone gave me, I'd be able to play. Tony? Well, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, been an actor for the last 20 whatever years it's been, and uh, <clears throat> Jerry and I have been doing some stuff. We were on the road doing a show for a while, and... I've uh, been working on a few projects, writing, and uh, in the meantime, I do things like build houses and stuff like that. And oh, try I see. To just build houses. Well. <laughs> I think it was terrific. I loved the show, and I had a great time doing it, you know, but I, but, but I would like to get on with it. <laughs> you know, Wally, uh, what are we doing here? This doesn't look like our house. <laughs> Come on, Beef. Our old house was just a TV set. It's not there anymore. They turned it into the Marcus Welby house. Guess that's showbiz. <laughs> Eddie Haskell was middle class America's bad boy. He was always getting into trouble and just generally causing mischief. But I don't know. I always kind of liked him. Hey, how you doing, squirt? See what I mean? Oh, hi, Eddie. Well, little orphan Annie. Would you tell Daddy Warbucks I'm here? Who is the beaver? It's the Mad Bomber. If you had to break it down into why the show was successful, I think it was successful because of Joe Conley and Bob Mosier and their brilliant writing, brilliant concepts, and, and Norman Tokar, who was the... He directed about the first hundred shows, and he was a genius, and he established characters that were very defined and... Uh, this, this is even true with, with the character. Eddie Haskell was taken from somebody, I believe it was Joe Conley, mm -hmm. that uh, when he was in the Navy had uh, a, a shipmate by the name of Eddie Haskell, who was that type of a character that Eddie was. Good afternoon, Mrs. Cleaver. Hello, Eddie. My, you certainly look nice today. I know it's been 20 years, but I was just wondering if Wallace and little Theodore are at home. Come on in, Eddie. Wally! Beaver! Eddie's here! Hey, hi, Eddie. Hi, Wally. Oh, hi, Eddie. Hello, Theodore. Well, you boys have a good time. I'm gonna go fix dinner. Well, I'm gonna change and get dinner started. You were always cooking and always looked perfect, and the perfect wife and the perfect <coughs> mother. Do you think that it would be different today if it were written today? That I hope not. Possibly those children that saw it and the, and the children that are seeing it now want that family life. You know, and we gave it to them. Kids came home from school and looked at Beaver 
and and that was their family. I've had fan letters where they sure, said, there was you know, hope for them. That, 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 that was that made them feel family. good. You were my mother. They were my brothers. And I think the big thing about it is our fans. I know when I still meet people that come up and recognize me, they say, well, where's Tony? Where's Ken Osmond? Hey, about finished? Yeah. I got a hook good. Take it easy with that thing. Don't rattle it. The practical joke seems to be the one that everybody talks to, uh, to me about. Uh, where we played uh, some, Lumpy and I played some dumb trick on Tony. Uh, or no, it was it was you on my car. That's what a smoke bomb or something. Anyway, oh yeah. Anyway, we tied a we tied a chain around Lumpy's car and then uh, I loved that stiffed show. in a call from Mary Ellen Rogers so he'd hop in his car and take off. And instead of just holding <laughs> the car back, it ripped the rear end out. George, you look at you as that in That's uh, the original American 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 this chain has Ward Cleaver's name on it. I was in New York and standing in the lobby of a theater, and this lady turned to her friend and said, there's Richard Deacon, one of the stars of Leave it to Beaver. The woman looked over at me, and she said, he's no star. Those are reruns. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go do your homework. Oh, gee, Daddy, I want to work on the car. <laughs> Don't work on your car. You do your homework. You won't amount to anything. Now, come on. Oh, I live out in Palm Springs now. And uh, I'm a municipal securities analyst with Municipal Corp of California. And we do municipal bonds and government bonds. And I just moved there about a year ago, and I love it. Well, it was really a kick. I was laying in bed the other night watching television, and there was a promo on for Taxi. And all, I, all, the, only, all the only thing the promo said was, who played Lumpy on Leave it to Beaver? And I'm sitting there going, I did, I did. That's great. Well, a long time no see, huh, Eddie? Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, you still seeing Mary Ellen Rogers? Oh, come on, you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, I heard you got killed in Vietnam. Oh, come on, Eddie. You know that was just a big rumor that started after the show went off the air? Yeah, knock it off, Eddie. Quit giving the bee the business. You talk about rumors, I hear that uh, you're a big porno star, huh? Hey, come on now. You know I'm straight. I wouldn't do anything like that. Well, contrary to what most people would believe Eddie Haskell would grow up to be, I'm a Los Angeles police officer. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I heard you were doing porno movies. That has been a uh, widespread rumor. Uh, obviously, being a police officer, there can be absolutely nothing to that. Uh, the police department, first off, wouldn't put up with it. And frankly, my lifestyle wouldn't put up with it either. Good, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I kind of pride myself on being a, an honest, fair person. Uh, I try to raise my kids the best I can. Uh, I'm lacking a great deal in being a good father. I realize that, but I work hard at it. And by many people's standards, I might be called a square. And I've even had friends tell me that Eddie Haskell grew up to be Ward Cleaver. And you know something? I can think of a lot of worse things to be. Mm. Yeah, right. You yeah. gotcha. That's wonderful. Wally, come in here for a moment, will you? Oh, hi, Dad. What are you doing? I'm cleaning my golf clubs. <laughs> uh, what are you and Eddie and uh, Beaver doing? Oh, uh, we're just going into the kitchen to see what Mom's cooking for dinner. Oh, boy. I'm glad I married her. She's always a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what do you want, Dad? Wally, do you know what happened to my toe chain? <laughs> Hugh Beaumont, a serious actor for years before the Beaver series, moved into directing many of the episodes during the last two seasons. In 1964, one year after the show went out of production, Beaumont suffered a stroke. Well, they sent me home from the hospital to die, and uh, I fooled them. <laughs> uh, it was a long, hard row. Hugh's one of the real, real positive things that that's come, came out of the show, and he's still a very close friend. I see him quite frequently, and um, 
Uh, a lot of people don't know that, you know, he was, he was a very philosophical type of guy. He was, he was a writer. He wrote a few books. He was a, he was a minister for a number of years. That's what I thought. And uh, I, I think he's, he, uh, he just, um, he was difficult at times. He stood up for what he, he, he believed in. And uh, he's, uh, he's a great guy. He's a, he's, one of, he's a friend of mine. He's one of my friends. And I believe so much in his character that it was <laughs> difficult sometimes when he was directing us to realize, to listen to him as the director and then go into a scene with him as somebody else, as, a, as another person. And I enjoyed his direction very much. Because Hugh Beaumont divides his time between Los Angeles, South Carolina, and Minnesota, he wasn't present for our original studio taping. But he did take time out from his involvement with community theater in Aiken, South Carolina, to join us in L.A. for our Beaver reunion show. The very first time I worked with Hugh Beaumont uh, was something that I remember about him the most. I was doing a religious show uh, before I did Leave it to Beaver, and I had a cry in it. And uh, he came over to me and he said, just put your hands over your face and laugh. And he said, and everyone will think you're crying. And so he's really the person that taught me as an actor how to cry. Wally and uh, Beaver were people. They were uh, uh, as much a part of me as my own kids. What can I say? He, he was, we got along and he was the father. He's terrific. I did a good job. And that's it. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mrs. Cleaver. Hey, when are we going to eat? I'm starving. Hang in there, blood. We're going to catch up with a rebound on the milk side. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was from another show. <laughs> that was cool. Just fine, thank you, Mrs. Cleaver. Come in. Hi, Bea. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Wally. Hi, Clara. Hi, Lumpy. Hi, Mrs. Cleaver. How are you? Fine. You want to stay for dinner? Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Cleaver. I don't have time. This segment of Two in the Town is almost over. Well, thank you all. This has been... I never, ever thought that I'd be sitting here with the cast of Leave it to Beaver having this wonderful experience with you all. It's a nice reunion for us. We've had a yeah, good time being here. Thanks. Have you? Well, that's oh, wonderful. Yeah.